It starts off too hot and then gets too cold. But what if your hot beverage was just right for hours? A lot of people don't realize they have this problem until you tell them, you wait for your coffee to cool down. Logan Maxwell and Dean Verhoeven, both coffee bad. drinkers, wanted to create a cup to cure the coffee temperature woes. What makes this mug different from any other mug that's on the market? So you can get a nice vacuum insulated thermos, pour your hot coffee in there, and it'll keep it very hot for a very long time. The problem is it's unsippably hot, so you'll burn yourself if you try to drink it. So ours brings it down initially, so you don't have to wait, don't burn yourself, and then it keeps it hot for three hours. Keeping your beverage at the perfect drinking temperature of 140 degrees with no batteries or cords. Well, there's a special insulation layer, what we call the Temp Perfect insulation, in between the stainless steel. That Tim Perfect insulation is made up of a solid wax-like material. When a hot beverage is poured into the cup, those layers absorb the initial heat and turn to a liquid, bringing your drink to a sippable temperature. Then, slowly, that wax turns back to a solid, pushing that energy back into the drink, keeping it warm for hours. A very attractive design for anyone who drinks coffee, tea, or soup. I don't want to have to drink my coffee so quick that it's either going to hurt my stomach or hurt my mouth because it's too hot. Would you buy a cup that kept it a perfect temperature for three hours? That sounds pretty amazing. But it took more than a decade to develop. Long before Logan joined the group, Dean had been using his mechanical engineering and physics background in his garage workshop, working out the kinks. So how have these prototypes changed from when you started with this one 18 years ago until now? Well, the first one was impractically heavy and it didn't work very well, and so the next ones were improvements on that. Even though their scald safe gadget is gaining popularity, the two-man Tim Perfect team is taking it slow. What part of the cup do you actually make here in your garage? They all start from flat stainless steel like this, and then, for example, the cylindrical parts are rolled into a cylinder, and then there is a weld applied along here, Welding and cutting, they are hands-on, creating what could be the coffee mug of the future. For the latest WNCN uploads, subscribe or click here.